Hello everyone, welcome back to our Doll Monica channel and today we are going to do a box opening of a doll that I won from Diana Efner private collection auction. So I've been trying to bid on this uh, auction for so long and I never win a bid. So I decided, you know what, maybe it's not meant for me. So I stopped bidding for a month. But then when we came back from the cruise, I decided, you know what, I'm going to try one more time because I really want to have at least one of the dolls because Diana Efner is my favorite doll artist and it, I will be very happy to have one of her dolls. So yeah, I did bid and finally I won one of the bids or one of the dolls and it arrived today and I'm very happy that it did because... Tomorrow I'm going to be leaving again, so it's perfect timing. There you go. We're going to do, so it came with the white box. Wow. There's Diana. So it says here, Diana Efner's private collection, a lifetime of loving dolls, 40 plus years of creating dolls. I don't know. Um, if everyone knows about Diana Efner, but she's a world-renowned doll artist, and I love, love, love her dolls. And from what I've seen, she is a very humble person, and that's one reason why I like buying from an artist. And it says here, let's read what it says. The auctioning of Diana's private doll collection begins Saturday, or Sunday, September 5th. 2021 an auction this special deserves its own site diana efner private collection.com register now to be kept up to date on an important auction information and to see what dolls are up for bid next so they have vinyl dolls porcelain dolls bjds one of a kinds artist samples or samples limited editions and it says nearly 1000 dolls new listings each week and it has www.dianafnerprivatecollection.com so that is where you can find and register if you want to bid on um, the dolls from Diana Efner's private collection so this is done by her kids or children because um, Diana Efner passed away um, I don't recall if it was two years ago unfortunately so it is her children who are doing the auctions and then I have certificate of authenticity here. It says this is a certified that this doll purchased on March 6, 2022 from Diana Efner's private collection.com was part of the private collection of Diana Efner. Number 1078 Bonica Monday's Child was created in unknown by Bonica, Diana Efner private collection. So it's good that it has a certificate of authenticity. And what else do we have here? Oh. It's a get clothes, shoes, and accessories for your little darlings. Studio Doll Pro .com, a Diana Efner company. So if you want to buy clothes for your little darlings, it has the website there. Studio Doll Pro .com. There it is. And I'm so excited. So this is my Bonnie Com. I believe these are 10 inch dolls. And what is this so we have a bag and it has a heart and what is in here what's this Bonica tradition it says it looks like a birthday party yeah and there is something inside it what is in here ah uh -huh. It looks like M&M's. This is something that we can eat. Huh. I don't know if this is something that we can eat or it doesn't feel like plastic. Yeah, it feels like real food. Huh. I don't know if I should eat it though. Is this like, I don't know, for those who bought from Bonica, is this something that Bonica dolls come with? And is this something that we should eat? I'm not sure, but it looks like M&M's. 
So that's on there. That's funny. Okay, so that's the bag. The doll is not inside the bag, but it has paddings here, which is the same that was used for the little darling BJD that I just got from Canada. So that's good. And then this is a doll. It's wrapped. We'll see. I'm so, 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 so excited. Okay. <gasps> Okay, I love Diana Evner dolls. I really do. Especially the little darlings. I also love the other ones like the Maru and Friends and the Ruby Red Valeria, but I love little darlings and the BJDs the most. Oh, she's so very cute. Look at that. Okay, let's remove the hair in it. Oh, wow. Look at that face, the eyes, the eyebrows. I'm so happy that I finally got one. So maybe this is my lucky girl because I would really, really love to have um, a Diana Efner sculpted doll and also painted by Diana Efner herself because I don't have any of those yet. So this will be my very first. She is vinyl and I believe she's 10 inches. It looks like she's 10. And she has, oh, what's the color of her eyes? She has brown eyes. Look at her eyebrows, it's so cute. This is what Diana Efner is very well known for. How her eyes, are, the eyes I mean the eyes of her dolls are painted. It makes it so lively, like so alive. Oh, she's very cute. I don't know if she's supposed to be a character at all, but this is her outfit. And maybe this is her number. There is a sticker here, which I'm going to remove now. It says 175. So I don't know what that is for. Maybe that's the number, auction number. And she is not jointed. She doesn't have ball joints on her uh, arms and legs but her head can be moved from sideways like this. Maybe a little up, oh, not a little, but maybe up and down. Her hands can be moved up and down too and sideways, a little sideways. And her legs can be done like this way. Her ankles are not um, jointed either but she is beautiful and I love the way her outfit was done. It doesn't say who did the outfit. I wonder if it is also, oh, maybe it's Bonica. Let's see. The outfit is tagged. What does it say on the outfit? It has a letter R. It says made in Indonesia. I don't know what these numbers are supposed to show or what does it stand for, but it is tagged and there is a, a letter R on the tag. And then on the, the panty, the white panty is also tagged. Let me just check. What does it say? The little panty is also tagged, but I can't say. Oh, it's also, it also says made in Indonesia. And it says B, B0072YSR. Yeah, but that's very pretty. Okay, so here's my very first Bonica and her she is a Monday's child so I guess they have like Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday maybe it's um, the days of the week and we'll see if you can stand let's make let's make you stand oh she's very pretty but she's really very cute I love her face mm, looks like she can stand oh it's it's her shoes she has red shoes I'm gonna go get her, so she's standing now. I'm gonna go get um, the little version of her, which is um, called Charmin. No, not Charmin. 
um, now I forgot the name, but she's like charming size, the eight inch size. All right, so here she is, standing on her own, which I really like, because that means I don't need a stand to stand her. And next to her is the eight inch, um, she's not a charming, but I have a little uh, different video of her. I, I just call her Charmin because the original um, company owner was Charmin and then um, I guess it closed and they created a new one, but it's the same face mold. Um, so Bonica, her face is the serious one and the other one is the, I think that's mold, it kind of looks like mold numbers, Ray. Bonica kind of looks like mold number is that a one or a two? They kind of look alike if you compare the dolls from Little Darlings and Bonica and uh, the Charmin. They kind of look alike. You can tell that they are done by the same artist, by Diana Efner, because they have that innocent looking, uh, adorable looking face. And yep, so I ruined uh, the shoes, the violet shoes shoes there and she's wearing um this girl is wearing an outfit by uh, tiny tots or tiny tots by marie osmond so it fits her now it makes me wonder which dolls can also share outfit with the bonica but yeah i'm very happy with this um, purchase and it's going to be very interesting to see which dolls she can share outfit with There she is. I finally I got one that was sculpted and painted by Diana Efner herself. I've always, always wanted to at least win one doll from her private collections, and I'm so glad that I have one. Yep, thank you. And again, if there's anybody here or anyone who wants to win one of the dolls. All you have to do is to register. It's a free registration. Go to, um, where's that website? www. There it is. Diana Efner Private Collection .com. So www. Diana Efner Private Collection .com. And that is where I win this. I want this uh, doll. So they have a lot of beautiful dolls by Diana Efner where you can bid. And if you win the bid, um, they also accept PayPal. So I paid her through PayPal. And here she is. It's actually a very fast shipping too. I was not expecting her to arrive until next week, but she just arrived today. And there she is. I'm so glad. Oh, as a collector, it feels so good to be able to own one of the dolls that were painted by diana herself and i'm so happy that she's home hope you enjoyed the video have a great day everyone bye bye